or a first-of-its-kind rehabilitation tool to help patients recover quicker from open-heart surgery. Well, that's the winning invention for the Singapore leg of the James Dyson Award. The international accolade aims to inspire the next generation of design engineers. You're looking at the OXO brace. This vest-like device helps a patient's healing process by supporting the sternum. It can bend and even shrink, allowing for more precise support and stability. And for more, we are joined in the studio now by the man behind the product. Sue E. Ian is the inventor of the OXO brace and the national winner of the James Dyson Award. Ian, welcome to the studios. Congratulations on the award, first of all, and uh, it's good to see you here. What Thank motivated you, you? Yeah, what <laughs> motivated you to actually uh, create OXO brace, and, and how did you come up with the name? So the main motivation was actually my own experience going through open heart surgery. Uh, I did two, one when I was born in 1999 and actually one two years back in 2021 for a valve replacement. So going through the whole rehabilitation journey, I thought that a lot of the current uh, solutions are not very ideal. So I thought with my skills as a designer, I wanted to use that and then create my own solution. All right. Uh, the very simple introduction we had, this device that you have designed, it is different because it supports the sternum in a much more precise and targeted way. Show yeah. us how that works. So if you look at the product here, I will activate a vacuum and you will see the product shrink and the centre portion of the sternum support actually presses inward towards the sternum bone. Yep. So how that works is if I actually look at this uh, small model here, uh, in a lot of cases, when patients actually move around and do daily activities, the sternum bone can actually move during recovery because it hasn't fully fused together yet. So what happens that's is... That's a problem. That's yes, not a that's the thing. problem. Okay, right. mm. so, a lot, so what Oscar Brace does is that it actually creates a very nice inward force along the whole sternum bone to actually create the stability that is needed. Yeah. Tell us something about what went into the design process of that, Ian. Yeah. So I actually took a lot of inspiration from very odd places such as uh, rice packets in the supermarket. So for example, those vacuum rice packets that you see. And one example of what that does is actually something like this. If I actually vacuum this up, what will happen is you will see the particles actually kind of uh, clump together. And because of friction, it actually becomes a stiff and solid structure. Yeah. Mm. So I use a lot of these principles to see how I could create a more dynamic support around the whole torso and as well as of the sternum. All right, but uh, if I look at it, this is the slightly honeycomb type structure. Yes. Uh, you also have to decide on the on the, the density of the support. So yes. how wide or how fine it needs to yes. be. So how does that factor? I mean, how would you you support the sternum on a on a much larger area? Or very very small areas yeah. how would you decide on on a dimension like that yeah so uh, I did a lot of uh, explorations so one of the examples here is this this thing called the aesthetic structure which is actually in the internal components of oxo brace and what happens is that when the air is evacuated you will see that a lot of the gaps will actually get the air will get evacuated and what happens is that it will actually shrink so this shrinkage is actually the one that is kind of pulling the brace and the fabric ar along the torso. And actually the only thing that's uh, creating the support for the sternum is this bending piece. So this bending piece will create the inward force for stability. Right. So there are lots of component parts to this. Yeah. Uh, it, it must have taken quite something to, to actually get the process going to understand how these pieces were actually going to mm. fit together in, in an ergonomic way almost. Did you have specific challenges that you faced in, in this? Yeah, so one of the main challenges was actually when I started off with this kind of prototypes of this, uh, we call it vac uh, particle jamming. What happens is that uh, this prototype only kind of create the forces on the sides, which was not very ideal. And what I needed was actually the center support. So uh, what I actually looked into was uh, to look into different industries. And one that caught my eye was actually soft robotics. So I took the principles of soft robotics where they use all these structures for bending actuators to, to grab things and try to implement those principles onto different areas such as the human body. So that gave me the breakthrough and made the oxo brace successful. All right. Uh, 
this is very personal for you because of your own experience with open heart surgery, but you yourself just mentioned different areas of the human body. So you're already in your design right now, thinking ahead to perhaps incorporating this into other, anything that requires, uh, I suppose, nuanced support, uh, nuanced textured support. What other applications do you see beyond over and above supporting the sternum? So a lot of the future applications could be along the lines of a more targeted compressive rehab and those compressive rehab braces that could be more controlled. So probably one example is for potentially for mothers who have gone through cesarean births when they have certain scars on their uh, fresh wounds here. Certain things like having a applied pressure like this would kind of uh, help the healing process as well as the recovery time. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Ian, for coming into the studios uh, to talk to us about this uh, invention of yours. And glad to hear earlier that you've had provisional patent approval yeah. as well on this and important to get that protection. We've been speaking to Sue E. Ian, the national winner for the James Dyson Award. Thank you. Yeah.